Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the courtroom drama surrounding Prince Harry's attempt to silence the press and the fiery fallout that followed. Strap yourselves in because this one is for the books. A tale of entitlement, ignorance, and a prince who seems to have lost his way. But before we move on to any further details, I would love to thank you all for your enormous love and support. And in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, what are you guys waiting for? Hit that subscribe button now and don't forget to to press the bell icon. Perfect, so let's get started. So now here we have Prince Harry, the self-proclaimed champion of truth, transparency, and online integrity, losing his cool over a newspaper article. The article, published by Associated Newspapers Limited, dared to question the royal's attempt to keep the legal, his legal battles under wraps. And how did Prince Harry respond, not with grace, but with a legal tantrum that left him with a loss in the court and a reputation hanging by a thread? Now let's dissect this for a moment. Prince Harry, who once stood as the lovable Ginger Kid, the People's Prince, has now become a caricature of entitlement. The panel on Talk TV hit the nail on the head when they pointed out that Prince Harry doesn't seem to grasp how things work in the real world. Freedom of the press is a cornerstone of democracy, and journalists have the right to express honestly held opinions, whether he likes it or not. Daisy McAndrew, the voice of reason on the panel, rightly said there is freedom of the press in this country. Journalists are allowed to have an honestly held opinion, no matter whether, no matter whether you don't like it or you don't agree with it, or even you think it's wrong. They still are allowed to have an opinion. It's a simple concept one that Prince Harry appears to struggle with. The article in question suggested that Prince Harry wanted to keep details of his legal battle for security funding under wraps, a reasonable inquiry given his pension for privacy, but the royal response was swift and heavy-handed. His lawyers cried foul, calling it an attack on his honesty and integrity, as if questioning the motives behind his legal battles is sacrilege. Esther Crock, another member of the royal panel of the panel, hit the nail on the head when she asked if Harry is lost since leaving the royal family. The once beloved prince has turned into an unlikable figure on every level. It's a shame, really, how someone who had the public's affection could squander it so spectacularly. Leaving the royal family might have been his attempt at finding freedom, but it seems like he's found confusion instead. Johnny Gould lamented the wasted potential of Harry and Meghan, who seemed to be adding a new texture to the royal family, but alas, they chose to blow themselves up and walk away from their duties. And here we are, with Prince Harry fighting the libel case, something royals simply don't do. It's a stark departure from the narrative he once crafted for himself. Now there's a dissenting voice on the panel, Gigi Aniswebi, who claims that Harry has found his voice. Well, I must say, if this is the voice he's found, it's not resonating well with the people. Gone is the lovable rogue. What we have now is a man entangled in his own web of legal battles and a quest for relevance. In conclusion, Prince Harry's attempt to muzzle the press and stifle honest opinions is not only an affront to the principles of free press, but also a sign of a man who has lost touch with reality. The libel case will go to trial next year, and one can't help but wonder if this is the path the prince truly wants to walk. Until then, let's keep our eyes on the courtroom drama and see if Prince Harry can find his way back from the legal abyss he's entered. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments below and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.